Hey, what's up, Gemini? I hope you guys are all well. This is going to be your general love reading for mid-December 2021, and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Gemini. <clears throat> and because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but of course you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. So let's see, what is the overall energy for Gemini? Second half of December, we have material world. Okay, so somebody's really focused on their material world, on their environment, possibly work, on creating abundance. Um, could be you, could be them, could be the both of you, or it could be the both of you just really trying to bring this connection into reality. So let's... Let's get into this and see what this is about. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Second half of December, 2021. What is going on between you and another person? So <laughs> this is the card that actually um, almost flipped over before. It's the Knight of Wands. All right, starting off the reading, crossed by the Fool. Okay, so there's a lot of drive. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of, there is movement here. I feel like it could be a little bit unstable though. That's the thing. It's shaky. It could fluctuate a little bit. Um, the passion is definitely there though. It's just that the movement is what I'm getting is fluctuating might be in and out because um, then crossing this we have the fool right which is ultimately taking that leap of faith taking that jump taking the risk and just really bringing something you know full circle so let's see for your energy this will be um, recent past current energy and near future we have the knight of swords the nine the nine of swords and then the three of wands for them we have the empress justice and the page of wands and the potential outcome here we have the three of cups all right gemini in for you in the recent past i feel like there was action you were definitely taking action in some direction and then maybe you hit a wall um, because at the moment it feels like you know there's some stress that you're going through for some of you, this could be that somebody was taking action towards you, but I'm mostly seeing it as, as being your energy moving, just moving in a certain direction, either away from this connection or towards this connection. Um, yeah, coming up, it feels like something's kind of happening. All right, I'm just going to leave it at that until we clarify. It's kind of happening, but there might be a little bit of waiting involved to see, you know, your end result here. For them, okay, I see that you were definitely um, heavily on their minds in the recent past. It doesn't mean that, they, that you're not currently, but I feel like, you know, you're just there. You're in their past. This is you showing up here as the Empress. Um, we have Libra showing up here in their current energy. So some of you might be dealing with a Libra. Whatever the case though, this person is making some kind of a decision. They're in that process. Trying to make something right, trying to bring something into a balance. And I do see them taking, taking a step in that direction. So I feel like you're making a decision. They're taking a step in that di direction, even though it might be a small step, but it's still, a step and it's coming right after justice so I feel like there is a decision being made before they take that step and it's like you're just kind of like waiting for it but in the potential outcome we do have the three of cups so this does speak about a coming together right like a reunion um, a reconciliation so I actually do feel like things are happening in the material world so yeah let's clarify with the pool. All 
right, and we have yeah the Hanged Man, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, it feels like there's been this... Um, it's like there's been this desire or this movement to like reignite this connection, either to reignite it or to just put it on a path, like put it on some kind of a solid path. Definitely there's a lot of passion here, but this, um, this stagnation, right, this fluctuation, this back and forth, it kind of has just kept things where they are. I feel like just as you feel like there is movement, because I do feel like with the, even with that Knight of Swords, their near recent past, it's like you felt that there was action. You felt that something was happening. Um, and then it just kind of, and then you look back and you're like, wait, but nothing has shifted. Nothing has changed. Like we're still where we were. And this creates a lot of conflict and tension within the connection. Because yeah, it's like that movement is there, but it never goes all the way in order to bring this together. So let's see that Knight of Swords for you. Ooh, the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there was definitely some action that was being taken, but it ultimately led to a huge disappointment here. So I feel like what happened was then you took action and either put an ending to this or you just tried to detach yourself emotionally. You pulled away, um, but that was still very painful. It felt like just a defeat, like just this horrible ending. I can see why you would be in that Nine of Swords energy then at the current time. So let's see that. Nine of Swords for your current energy. And we have Judgment, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So yeah, you're feeling a huge sense of a disappointment here and it's it's still bugging you. It's still bugging you. Um, because this commitment didn't really come to be, right? And so it's like you're still carrying that. It's almost like, you know, you... I feel like you had a realization, regardless of whether this is accurate or not, you you had a, realiza a realization that you, you want to let this go, that you want to let go um, of this possibility of having this commitment because you, you were disappointed or betrayed or hurt in the past, but it's still causing you some stress. All right, let's take a look at your person's energy here before we see the near future energies. Let's see the Empress for their recent past. All right, we have, ooh, we have the Fool, we have the Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely, you know, this person was like so determined. This is like full of action. I mean, the fool, the king of swords, the eight of wands, and then also the ace of pentacles. This person, it's like they took action. It's like they took a leap of faith. They were determined to have this, to have some kind of a beginning with you in the material world, in the 3D. I feel like things felt like they really were materializing and I do feel like this person was doing that. It's not that they weren't. It's not that they, I don't, I don't see it as being a deception. Like this was actually their energy moving very decisively and determined towards you. They may have even communicated this to you, but it didn't pan out. It's like, cause because in the situation here, right, it's like, it's not stable. It's like taking a few steps forward and then taking a step back. And so it ends, things just end up being stagnant. 
which is what has created this tension, this conflict between the two of you. It's like they stepped into that fool's energy only to go back. That's how it's coming in. Let's see justice for their current energy. The Four of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's a major decision that's happening at the moment. Um, and I feel like they're trying to they're trying to correct something. They're trying to correct something from the past. They're trying to bring a healing to the connection and possibly even to their own self first. It's whatever it is, whatever it is that has been holding them back or that they need to overcome in order to take that leap of faith, it's very challenging for them. But I see them um, being determined again. Like they're pushing through. They're pushing through and I feel like this time there has been a lesson also that has been learned from before. Like something has healed within them or something is healing within them. Because they have learned a lesson and so it's like realizing that they need to push through with that nine of wands like no matter what. Not to not give up in other words in order to have justice. For some of them, this could even be a legal matter. <laughs> and I love that in this particular card, in this Nine of Wands, it, it actually says on the window here, I want to believe. So, yeah, I do see this person um, hoping to really push through this time around. Possibly coming from a more healed space. It could be that before it was just more impulsive, but you know, I mean, you have to trust your own intuition. I'm not trying to give anybody false hope. This is just what I'm seeing here. So let's see, the near future. Let's see that three of wands for you. The knight of cups, the seven of swords, and the five of pentacles. Okay, this is interesting energy that you're stepping into, that you're moving towards. So take this also like um, like guidance or even a precaution, just for your own energy. This doesn't even really have anything much to do with the other person. It feels like you're stepping into this energy where you're waiting for this person to come in as this Knight of Cups, right, to offer you that love. But at the same time, it's like you're also expecting that it's not going to happen. Um, it's like you're waiting for it, but you're not like really believing it. And because it's like, I, I almost feel like you're, you might be like driving yourself crazy with that. Because a part of you believes that they will. And then another part of you doesn't want to be hurt again, right? You don't want to be in this five of pentacles energy. You don't want to be disappointed again. You don't want to, um, you know, feel rejected or abandoned or whatever alone again and so it's like then you have this seven of swords where you're just like no 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 don't want to believe that but you're still holding on to that so it's like this i uh, it's almost coming into me as like a torturous type of waiting to see what's going to happen because because there's a fear of of you being alone so just being aware of that like if this resonates with you you can probably help yourself to not, um, you know, allow this to affect you so much, like to not step into that energy so heavily. I know it's easier said than done, you know, to just, you know, let things be what they want to be. <laughs> that never really helps it, um, anybody, I know. Well, we do have the Three of Cups, though, for the potential outcome here. But let's see this page of wands for them. The 
Five of Cups and the Hermit. All right, yeah, this person is taking a step, but I feel like there's, um, they're doing it in this way where I don't, feel, I don't feel like you're gonna really be aware of it because they're taking some kind of a step, but it's not necessarily um, that Knight of Cups just yet. I do see it moving definitely in that direction, okay, with the Three of Cups, but I feel like, like in the more immediate future, this person is taking that step but they're processing some kind of guilt first. And they're really going within and they are healing that. And that's a huge step for them actually. It might feel small because you can't really see it because it's internal. It's not actually like in the 3D, something that you can see. But it's, it's a very important um, and deep step for them. And I feel like that actually has to happen. And that, that was probably the missing piece before. That was um, what was missing when they initially took some initiative and then never completed it was because they hadn't processed some kind of a guilt or some kind, something from the past. Maybe related to you, maybe related to something else, I don't know. But now, now this is something that they are actually doing. So they're going to be coming from a more healed place. And that would also explain this Four of Swords here. In their current energy where they are bringing something into balance they are healing something something is being made right so let's see that three of cups even though it is pretty self-explanatory <laughs> yeah we have oh look at that we have the four of wands and the star wow yeah, definitely there's a lot of potential here for this connection right to move towards a wish fulfillment um, stability, commitment, a reconciliation, happiness. This could even be marriage. Like, this is beautiful. So, yeah, Gemini, that's what I got for you. So if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get your final oracle message. Let's see. Hey, Gemini, final message. And we have relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So yeah, I feel like that's what that's what this person is learning here, okay? And again, roles can be reversed. Um, the need to change, something needs to change because otherwise it's not going to be um, completed. So yeah, that is it, Gemini. I thank you so, so much for watching and much love.